because there's something very specific you have to be doing. All right. Now, see the sarsaparilla bottles on the fence there? Take this and try nope. to hit a couple of them. What? What fence? What fence? Oh, you mean that fence? Shit! I missed. Damn it! Why do I keep missing? That's the right idea. Look down the side. Fuck this. <laughs> what did you say? Well, that's a start. <laughs> but I don't reckon you came to me to learn to fight sarsaparilla bottles. Nope. Tell you what. I gotta go chase geckos away from a water supply anyway. Okay. Darn critters are attracted to it. Why don't you come along? Sure. End tutorial. I think I've learned enough. I like how they completely take you out of the game. Like, end tutorial. <laughs> uh, end tutorial. Suit yourself. Hope this helps you some. Yep. I'm heading back now. Hope I didn't miss anything good on the jukebox. Cheyenne would never forgive me. Hey, do right. me a favor. Trudy? She's the bartender up at the Prospector. Kind of the town mom. She likes to meet newcomers. She'd be cross with me if I didn't ask you to poke your head in and say hi. Okay. Sure. I know how to play this game, bruh. Sort of. Even though I admitted not too long ago that I don't remember how to play shit. Oh well. Tutorials just shooting stuff. So. Howdy. Oh, get your dog out of my way, bitch. I'm done being nice. Oh. You don't hang Ringo over soon. I'm going to get my friends and we're burning this town to the oh ground. Oh, God. Got it? We'll keep that in mind. Now, if you're not going to buy something, get out. Oh, shit. That's not good. Well, you've been causing quite a stir. Yep. I'm glad I finally got to meet you. Welcome to the Prospector Saloon. Show me what you, uh, show me what you have for sale, bitch. I'm sure I've got something you like. Cool. Beer. Don't really need that. Fixing things. Nope. Uh, moonshine. I'll buy me some moonshine. Uh, anything else? Not really. Oh, I will buy a bunch of Sunset Sarsaparilla. All of it. Alright, I'll sell something for it. Uh, what can I sell? Oh yeah, the stuff I was going to sell anyways. Where? Where is it? We don't want to sell the pre-war books? Of course not. Pack of cigarettes, large destroyed book, empty syringe, I think they're pretty much useless, carton of cigarettes, and that'll pay for our shit, okay, that's all I wanted, I overheard, your, I overheard your argument, what was that all about? Looks like our little town got itself dragged in the middle of something we don't want anything to do cool. with. Cool. About a week ago, this trader, Ringo, comes into town, survivor of an attack, he says, Bad men after him. Needs a place to hide. Okay. We figured he was just in shock. So we gave him a place to lie low. We didn't actually expect anyone to come after him. <laughs> Where's Ringo now? He's holed up at the abandoned gas station up the hill. Why not just kill Cobb and be, and be done with it? You mean murder him? That's not our way. Even if Cobb is scum. He can bluster and threaten all he wants. Uh, what are you going to do? Some of the others, like Sonny, will probably stand up for Ringo if he asks for help, which he hasn't. Personally, I hope he sneaks out of town one night and takes the powder gangers with him. Powder gangers? Sounds like some drug dealers. Chain gangs, really. The NCR brought them in from California to work on the rail lines. Problem is, it turns out that giving convicts a bunch of dynamite and blasting powder isn't the best <laughs> idea. It was a big escape not too long ago. Some of them stuck together so they could make trouble. That's what we're dealing with now. Ah. I see. Never mind. I want to talk about something else. What if... What happens if I help Ringo? If you were able to get Ringo out of this mess, you'd have a decent reputation around Good Springs. I'd even set you up with a discount. Motherfuck. Of course, helping Ringo would also make the Powder Gangers mad. And they've got a lot of friends out there. Ah, uh, fuck the Powder Gangers. So if I... So I help Ringo, and Good Springs will like me more. What if I help the Powder Gangers? Don't know why you'd want to do a thing like that. Yep, you get on their good side, but people around here wouldn't appreciate it one bit. Uh, alright. Basically, she's just subtly teaching you the, uh, the, uh, faction system in this game. Who was that man you were arguing with? He's a convict, just without the chains. 
Said his name was Cobb. Powder gangers is what they call themselves. Plenty more like him out there. I'm trying to track down the people who attacked me. Know anything about them? Not much, other than they're a bunch of freeloaders who expected a few rounds on the house. All right. I was able to get them to pay up, though. Huh. Of course, one of the great cons did knock my radio to the floor by accident. Oh, <sighs> what a bitch. It hasn't been working since. What a dick. Did, they, did my attackers say where they were going? They were having some kind of argument about it, but the guy in the checkered coat kept shushing them. It sounded like they came in from the north through Quarry Junction. If that's the case, I can't say I blame them for not wanting to go back. Why is that? That whole area is overrun with the kind of critters that just get mad if you shoot uh, them. Oh. Merchants avoid that whole stretch of I-15 like it's radioactive, which it could be for all I know. <laughs> so where were they headed? I didn't hear exactly, but the leader was talking about the strip. Ooh. The fellow wants to get there and avoid the 15, he'd have to go east. Take Highway 93 up. Okay. Want me to take a look at your broken radio? Sure. The outside looks okay, but I think something broke on the inside. Darn. There's caps in it for you. I do like to hear what's going on in the world. And that Mr. New Vegas seems like such a gentleman. Yeah, I'm sure he is. Do you know Do you know the robot that rescued me? I know that thing as much as anyone else around here. It mostly keeps to itself, which is just fine by me. Oh, why are you such a racist? What does he actually do around here? Other than rolling around once in a while, it doesn't do anything useful as far as That's I That's exactly tell. what a racist would say. I don't know why it took an interest in you, but I'd be careful. It's never helped anyone before. <sighs> you don't like him? <laughs> he acts friendly enough, but I don't trust that whole cheerful cowboy act. I find it all very creepy. I see. How long has he been in Good Springs? It was here when I took over the saloon seven years ago. Some people have said its owner lived here, but no one knows who it was. Uh huh. Never mind, let's talk about something else. Does Good Springs get many visitors? It's mostly traders looking to buy bighorn or meat and hides. Oh. The traders are the main reason the general store manages to stay in business. Most travelers heading south on the I-15 just push on towards Prim, unless they're in desperate need of supplies. Huh. Anything interesting going on in the rest of the wasteland? There's always something interesting going on. But the biggest news has to be the coming dust up between the NCR uh, and the Ah, yes. Ah, uh, tell me about the NCR, I guess. The New California Republic's got the most power in Nevada. Money, troops, you name it. They do what they can to keep things safe in the region. But if you ask me, they're trying to do too much. They're spread too thin. Yeah, that makes... They probably are. Why do you think the NCR and the Legion both want the dam? Pretty simple, really. I'm pretty sure the NCR wants to hold on to the dam because it's one of the few places around that can make electricity. The Legion are a bunch of savages, though. No idea why they'd want the dam. Probably plan on destroying <laughs> it or something. If they have electricity, they own the wasteland. It's pretty fucking simple. What can you tell me about the Legion? Slavers, killers, and all other kinds of trouble. They dress up like Roman soldiers, so there's no mistake in it when you see them. Yeah. The rumor is, is that the Legion is far larger than the NCR lets on, and that it's been due to luck that the Legion hasn't overrun the territory. Huh. Whoever, electricity equals money, and money equals power, of course they want to hold on to the dam. Be careful. And of course the uh, Legion want the dam. It only makes sense. Look, even she's getting stuck on that fucking dog. Alright, let me out your radio. Repair the radio. There you go. Feeling thirsty? I can take care of that. I know, I just fixed your radio. Yeah, I heard it turn right back on after you got done tinkering with it. Here's some caps for the work. Thanks. Repair bar to 20, that's it? Are you implying that I've done shoddy work? Bitch! Not at all. <laughs> I'm never sure how much is normally charged for this sort of thing. Here's some additional caps. That should be enough. Thank you. Now, how about spending some of those caps in the saloon? No. Absolutely not. 